Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. AMC stock is in the red again today. The AMC stock price increased by more than 5%. The stock is now red. At one point today, the share price fell to $10.72. What the earth is going on? And what do investors in AMC stock need to know? We're going to bring you up to speed on the most recent developments. Click like and then subscribe to the channel. The ADP employment change will be released at 8.15 am Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, which will be another significant catalyst. Tomorrow, you can anticipate 195,000 job gains. If this number is greater than that, you're in trouble, because why? This suggests that the non-farm payroll report, due out at the end of the week, will likely also be strong. What does it matter if job openings decline? if the labor market is still adding a large number of positions, or if the unemployment rate rises and job openings decline. What's the problem? If you are restricting the labor force, you are doing so on both parties. That's correct. Therefore, it is crucial to understand this. This week will be filled with data, and the data will have a significant impact on the markets. Now, huge for the markets does not necessarily equate to huge for AMC stock. You would have anticipated that AMC would be soaring today, as it was earlier in the trading day. Let's confront the simple fact that there are enormous quantities. How many people do I have to inform that AMC and the SEC engage in manipulation, and nobody cares? Okay, I apologize. It is somewhat aggravating to see so much manipulation without anyone caring. Okay, that's an issue. I believe this is a problem with the system as a whole. Now let's discuss AMC specifically. Yesterday, I reported that there were 120,000 calls that were in the money as of the close of trading. I believe those calls were exercised and converted into shares. This makes a lot of sense to me, particularly if the price per share is less than $11. As can be seen, the AMC stock price of $11 per share is very competitive. If they exercise their options prior to 11.59 p.m., you made money today, correct? so I find that to make sense. At least, it does not appear to me that those were simply thrown out. It is conceivable, but that would be a massive transaction in a very short period of time. So I suppose it will be necessary to observe the final outcome of the option chain and AMC's performance for the remainder of this week. Nonetheless, let's examine the current option numbers that are expiring at this time. Therefore, calls in the money at approximately 3,700, calls out the money at 56,770, calls in the money at 27,427, and calls out the money at 33,615. Therefore, there is a great deal of option activity relative to where the flow is outstanding. Currently, out of the money calls control approximately 5.6 million shares of AMC stock while out of the money calls and in the money puts control roughly the same amount of potential shorting pressure market makers may have to exert on AMC stock if the stock continues to decline. Now, as I've stated numerous times, I do anticipate a significant upswing in the near future. Why? Because the RSI is exceedingly oversold and you have not been this oversold since January 2022, a very, 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 very long time ago, what transpired? About a month later, the stock rose in three separate instances. So, you have fallen repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly. Each and every day has been, you guessed it, crimson. We have not yet had a green day. Since AMC's conversion, the stock has fallen virtually every single day. Okay. I believe that should be kept in mind. Something to recall, yes. When you finally get that bounce, it will likely be quite aggressive. It will likely be a significant move to the upside. And don't be surprised when this occurs. Isn't that so? I thought it was possible that today would be the date. As you can see, however, manipulation simply dominates some days. When force comes to shove, the SEC and no one care what is happening with AMC. Now, in terms of the general appearance of the data, we do not know. Is is currently one of the greatest problems. We do not have accurate figures for the number of Ortex shares out on loan, but based on the float of approximately 59 million shares, the number may be 27.4 million. This would be close to 50% short interest, so that would exceed my estimation. 
I estimate between 35 and 45 percent. Given how much we have fallen recently, this is undoubtedly a possibility. I would not be surprised if short interest exceeded 50 percent. As stated numerous times, you currently hold short positions in AMC stock worth $83 billion, $205 million. Ortex reports a short interest of 12.5 percent. That is complete nonsense and is completely false. We simply do not know where this data is located, which is currently one of the most significant issues. Last time we checked, the official short interest report was over 29% on 15 August. Since then, the stock has declined approximately 60%. So, extrapolate the data as you will, but I estimate a 35-45% to 45 short interest. My estimation is somewhat conservative. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below regarding the genuine short interest. However, once we have actual statistics, we may be able to accurately assess the situation with AMC stock. I have no idea when that will occur. I am unsure if this is the next exchange to report short interest. That is plausible. We've seen something similar before. Ortex will estimate a short interest rate of 18%, but the actual short interest rate is 25%. And then, there will be a significant update to Ortex information. Therefore, it is difficult to predict when exactly these data will once again be relatively precise. Even some of the costs associated with borrowing are false. Currently, interactive broker fees for borrowing are approximately 13.5%. We know this to be false. There are 2.8 million shares currently available for lending. That appears to be a prospect, if perhaps that's the case. Considering the average cost to borrow, the maximum cost to borrow is 10%, while the minimum cost to borrow is 378.5%, 8.5%, and 9%. So I am taking everything with a grain of salt. None of it seems plausible. Now, what we do know is that AMC stock remains on the list of threshold securities. This item has been on this list for months. Please, SEC. What's the matter, buddy? This has been ongoing for months. How many months? What other stock has been on the list for months without investigation or any other action? So it would not astonish me if I am once again surprised. However, at some point in the foreseeable future we should recover, and given how much the AMC stock can fluctuate, it could be a very substantial bounce once more. You are $40 and $50 at the beginning of August, so a jump to the 20s would be comparable to AMC's recent increase from $1 to $2. Also, bear this in mind in your analysis, guys, as there could be significant dollar fluctuations. So that concludes the list. The data that will be released tomorrow will influence the markets. I do not believe there will be a significant correlation with AMC, as we did not observe it as well today. Today, the markets were utterly destroyed, but AMC stock was unaffected. The Nasdaq was up more than 2%, while the S&P was up approximately 1.5%. Ank stock did not receive the same regard, gentlemen. This concludes the content of this video. Please let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of all of these details? What is your current opinion of AMC stock? And where do you see AMC stock heading over the next few days and weeks? Thus, thank you for viewing. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and I will see you tomorrow.